Hey y'all, welcome and thanks for joining me while I get all science-like doing a hair experiment. Firstly, before I get into exact experiment details, as many of you know, I'm all about and have been for years applying coconut oil on my hair, letting it sit for a bit, then applying hair bleach directly over it. But I've never actually tried any other kind of oil, and I've gotten lots of questions about if oils or other oils could be used with the same results achieved. So that got me thinking, well, let's find out and do an experiment. For this, I'll be using some light brown human hair extensions, all from the same package, and a variety of oils, including coconut oil, which I'll be applying to the hair extensions before bleaching. The oils that I'll be using are coconut oil, of course, palm kernel oil, but I can never say this one, babassu oil, yes I got it, <laughs> Jamaican castor oil, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, and apricot kernel oil. I chose these based on a few things and each oil met one or more, which were the amount of hair penetration, some because they're easy to find in stores, and a few from comments questions that common questions that people have asked um, already in the past. Okay, now let's get on with the experiment. I secured the hair extensions to some poster board wrapped in plastic with a label above each piece of which oil was being applied. After lightly misting the hair extensions with a bit of water, I applied each oil making sure to fully saturate the hair and wipe off or change the gloves when switching to the next one. After finishing all 10 pieces, I waited one hour since I wasn't sure if the other oils would need a little longer than the 20 to 30 minutes that I usually allow for the coconut oil to soak in the hair. After the hour passed, I warmed up the extensions with the hair dryer for a minute, mostly because it seems that the palm kernel oil solidifies quite easily and it needed to be reheated. Next, I mixed the bleaching powder with a 40 volume developer, applied the mix to each hair extension and covered them with some plastic wrap. To make rinsing out the hair easier, I cut the poster board into sections. With the hair dryer, I applied a bit of heat equally. I did this to compensate for the fact that the extensions are not getting any kind of body heat from the head like when lightening or coloring your own hair. Once the extensions had processed for about 30 minutes, I rinsed, shampooed, and lightly conditioned the extensions, finishing off with a bit of cool water rinse to help close or calm the cuticle. Aside from this, I added no other leave-in conditioner or similar treatments to the hair so as to be able to assess the condition of each one properly. And here's the dried, finished hair. So looking at the before and afters, you can see that all the oils actually still allowed for the hair bleach to lighten the hair. But now let's check for hair damage and how much or how little each extension has. So after all, the whole point of the coconut oil bleaching method is to help protect the hair and reduce the damaging effects from lightning. So I did remove the hair extensions from the large poster board that I had them on and paired them up based on how well the hair looks and feels. So starting off, the apricot kernel oil is the only one that I definitely did not like at all. The hair looks and feels dry and straw-like and it's got lots of broken, split, frizzled hairs and it just feels crunchy and harsh. I, mean, I don't like it. So, <laughs> The next two, the grapeseed oil and argan oil, are not bad, but uh, I mean, they're better than the apricot oil, but still a little too dry and straw-feeling, uh, with, but with less like broken, splitting hairs. The sweet almond oil and Jamaican castor oil, as well as the avocado and the extra virgin olive oil, 
are all quite softer actually than the previous three with a lot less split ends and uh, or damage to the hair even. The last three, the coconut oil, the palm kernel oil, and the babasu oil, babasu oil, I always get that wrong a little bit, <laughs> all came out the softest feeling and with the least amount of damage along the whole length of the hair and uh, even on the ends. So these three would be definitely the first choices for me personally and that I would recommend to anyone else looking for something um, else to use. So the palm kernel oil though out of the three would be the last that I would choose just because it does solidify quite easily when it starts to cool and so you would have to keep it pretty warm uh, before applying the bleach or color. So the other choices, while a little less effective but still did reduce some damage would be either the extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, or the Jamaican castor oil. While this is a great way to help fight against those harsh effects bleaching has on hair, there still will be some kind of damage, just much less than usual, but it doesn't bulletproof your hair. So please do still take care not to leave the bleach or high lift color on any longer than stated in the manufacturer's directions as well as not bleaching your hair right away again, uh, like only days apart or the same day. Just please don't do it. <laughs> well, all right, those were some surprising results. I think now I might switch to a blend of the babasu and the coconut oil before bleaching. Well, hopefully that was informative and answered some of the questions that have been being asked about using other oils other than coconut oil. If you've had great results with this technique or have any tips, let me know in the comments. And I would also be so grateful if you would be so awesome to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone for being here and doing this experiment with me. And I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.